Hey guys, I'm gonna teach you how to use an antenna to spawn enemies in Space Engineer. So I made a safe little box so the antennas don't get shot. And now I'm just gonna use a real minimal design. Um, I use a small generator for power and uh, of course an antenna. You could probably use any power source uh, as long as you can toggle it on and off. It's usually best. Um, so that you stay in control and uh, you can use a reactor this way and that's it because you can go right into the control panel but I like to put keypad on so I can just go right into it and it's faster um, so that's the easiest design I felt and now we're just gonna make a few of these we actually only need three but I'm gonna make four um, So the first one you want to call Mining Operation Site. And you need to mind all the capitals and spelling because it won't work otherwise. And uh, make sure the power's off and then you want to transfer it to the pirate. So of course it needs to be in their name. But we're in control of the power so no enemies will spawn unless we want them to. Um, now the next antenna we're going to call Moon Mining Operation Site. And of course you need to spell it right. And uh, make sure the power is off and we're going to transfer it to the pirate. Then the next one is going to be the one most commonly found is emergency requesting assistance. This one's really popular if you're intercepting one of the space pirates um, ships. They usually have an antenna dedicated to that if you get too close and it will spawn a fighter to come and get you. So we don't need this other antenna. These are the three that I found work. Uh, I haven't found any other antenna style that works. So we'll just turn this one on and you can immediately see it spawn what would be a mining operation site enemy but for earth. Now the way to take this one down is just go right for this timer block because it's trying to find you and once that's out of the way it won't move anymore then take out the gun and now you're free to do with it whatever you want. Um, as you can see it's got atmosphere thrusters on it so you can tell it's not made for space. So you can see that I spawned it. Um, I'm just grinding down all the power to it um, just because it has resources like uranium and you don't need to waste it. So it's powered down, it's ours, you can do whatever you want with it after this point. So I'm just going to turn off this antenna and start on the next one. Now this one's moon mining operation site and turn that one on and instantly we're getting attacked. Um, with this guy I go right for the gun because usually it doesn't flee like the other ones do and so it's kind of tricky because the gun has a pretty good radius but after that it usually just spins in a circle it doesn't really flee away from me uh, like most enemies will. And the way to do this one, uh, I go in from the sides where I can reach the eight reactors. There's such such a process to get this taken care of. Um, so I'm gonna speed it up. With the antennas, they should spawn one enemy about every five minutes up to three enemies of that type at least I think that's what the picture said about the assailant I think that should apply to these as well um, most of the time I've had the Tusk and the other ships spawn pretty fast faster than what felt like five minutes on the other planets 
but the assailant spawns very very quickly inside this moon um, biome if you want to call it in space and uh, so these ones didn't spawn as frequently but maybe it's just different because of the planet so took down the reactors then take down those batteries it's completely shut off and now it's now it's ours. We can saw it, we can do whatever we want with it. The other one's over there. They're up for grabs, free resources. I'm gonna turn this antenna off. And turn the emergency requesting assistance antenna on. And immediately an assailant spawns way out there. Uh, problem I found with these ones is they can spawn three kilometers away in an applicable location like you can't spawn them inside the moon but they can spawn very very close to the surface of the moon and they will kill themselves or they'll spawn really high up and come at the moon at a very fast velocity and kill themselves so we're lucky this one here spawned at a reasonable distance and it's coming down um, nicely um, these ones can be tricky because the gun faces you and that's what it tries to do is come after you and that's what it's programmed for so the gun does have a blind spot and that's pretty much the back 180 degrees of it um, think like a dome it can only shoot in that 180 degree front so it can't see us back here um, but it will still try and follow us and that's because of this timer block on the bottom that's blinking blue uh, that one redoes the script to find and go after player and you can't do any other block first you have to kill this block first or else it will try and flee so once that's done it will stop moving uh, after it's done moving I just take out the gun and it's ours the ship is done that's it you can do whatever you want with it what I like to do is I'll grind down this remote control I'll go back up to make it mine put on a keypad so I have control and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna make a GPS location at my base and uh, then I'll just use the cruise control or remote control on it and I'll just have it go wherever I want it so I'm gonna call this scrap yard because this thing is gonna be turned to scrap um, it's right where I want it to be and we'll just go right back over here and I'll just tell this to go to my scrap yard. You don't have to own any other thing in this ship to make it do this. So you just turn that autopilot on and there it goes. It's going right where I want it to go. Um, you, you don't have to grind anything else. So all three ships are ours. They're right where we want them to be. You can grind them down or pick them up and put them inside an automated grinder. Um, with this way, I like to send this one to where I want it to go. And um, then below it, you can have like a pit and just kind of let it go into the pit and get ground up by an automatic system. And you can do that with all of them and it works perfect. So I tried using three other antennas, ore handling facility, district headquarters, and salvage facility on all the different planets and they did not spawn any enemy and I waited quite a long time so I'm just going to put a block in front of them and move on. So I'm going to send this to the pirates and spawn it and unfortunately I should have had a better entrance so it couldn't shoot it. Um, right now we're on planet Mars and uh, this one really pissed me off so I just went right for the gun and you can see it starts to flee once you do the gun so um, I just took down its thruster to go up destroy the ship and we'll start with the next one the moon mining one send it to the pirates turn it on and boom it spawned so even though this one's a moon based enemy it still spawned um, this one pissed me off too so just cut that crap off and uh, it seemed to run into the ground so one of its thrusters are taken off and it's dead 
and that one spawned as I was killing it. And they're both dead. I waited a little bit to see what would spawn next. And um, this one was really popular right now. I have no idea how the spawn rate works between them. Um, I'm trying to go for that. But he's dead. Oh, and while I was killing him, that guy spawned. That's right. Um, they're dead. So, I'm just going to turn these off so they'll stop spawning. Um, they obviously work on Mars. And I'm just going to put a block in front of it so I know what ones they are. And then I'm going to move on to the emergency requesting assistance, which will be the assailant. Got turned on the reactor and just send it to the pirates and boom it spawns spawned really far away like I said it can spawn very close to the the ground and it did and it ran into the ground and it took out the timer block and it did take out its uh, gyroscope which might have made it not want to go anywhere uh, but I think it's because of the timer block uh, just killed the power and now it's ours I'm on alien planet now, and I'm going to just send over the antenna to the pirates, turn it on, and boom. There's that one, and it works. The guy flies pretty well inside an alien atmosphere. Um, couldn't quite get his stuff, and he's shooting into my base and destroying my antennas right now. So I just kind of went, like, all for it. Um, yeah, he was really pissing me off. He like, can't get up this. There we go. So, my antenna's a little shot up, but no big deal. He only shot the crappy one a little bit, and the other one a little bit, and that one a little bit. And who cares about the one on the floor, just set the side. Um, anyways, it's yours. Yay, look, it can't fly anywhere. You know, you can grind it down and stuff. This guy just pissed me off, so I'm just going to drop a warhead on him. Um, you get the idea. We got him. It's ours. Big freaking deal. Boom. Out of my life. Alright, so that one worked. We need to make a new freaking entrance. Uh, that's sideways so they can't shoot it. Neat. So, here's the emergency requesting assistance. The assailant, like I said, can spawn way too high and come straight down too fast. Although, the assailant has only ion thrusters, so it's not even ready to fly in an atmosphere. And that's why it probably didn't work well on Mars, and that's why it's not working at all on Alien. And we're just going to watch him fall down. This does happen on the moon though. If he spawns way too high and he's coming after you and you're really low, he'll come after you and just hit the ground. Um, you can maybe salvage pieces sometimes, but most of the time, they're just dead. Now finally I'm going to do the moon mining operation site and turn that guy on and there he is, he's here. And I was going to grind him up but he pisses me off and we all get the idea so you know let's just let's blow him up, get it over with, yay we got him, the resources are ours, big deal, we did it. Um, you. Yeah. And now I'm turning on the antennas that I thought were going to work. 
I left him on, obviously instantly didn't spawn any enemies. I'm on Earth planet right now, so we're just going to go ahead and start with the other antennas uh, with the moon mining operation site first. Turn that on and... Or the mining operation site. There we go, so timer blocks out, so now he's not going to go anywhere, and then I took out his gun, now I'm going to take out the generators, and uh, just make it so the ship is neutral, and won't waste any more resources, if there were, if this was survival, you'd want all that uranium, so, now he's ours, go pick him up, saw him down, whatever you want to do, um, now we'll spawn the assailant using emergency requesting assistance antenna and he's like way the heck out here I thought he was gonna crash but um, he didn't crash and blow up this time He's kind of a useless one to spawn inside an atmosphere because usually he spawns way high up and falls and blows up. But every once in a while I get lucky and then they'll spawn closer to the ground and just damage themselves. Um, this time the gun is still intact so that's kind of a pain so it's still trying to shoot me. But the timer block is gone so it can't find me. Um, again, it's it's ion thrusters, so he couldn't even do anything if he wanted to. But we did save a lot of that resource because he spawned close to the ground, so that's a good salvage. I just turned off the generator because we want to save all those resources. And now I'll turn on this last one. And boom. So, uh, he spawned a little bit too close to the ground and just whacked it a little bit fast because his using uh, ion thrusters also because it's a moon mining operation site drone so anyways we'll just take out all his reactors and sweet so that's those on earth now I did a simulation of it inside uh, it was like survival uh, habitable planet was the one so I did the three inside habitable planet um, they didn't spawn instantly there was no enemy in sight I have my antenna range full um, and it did not work so hope that helps